Did you know that Bic lighters undergo more than 50 quality checks before they end up on your supermarket shelf? That's right, these little fire makers get more scrutiny than your high school homework. But how exactly are they made in a factory and what are they made of? Stick around to find out, you might be surprised. But first make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It all starts with the right materials. Before a Bic lighter ever lands in your pocket, it starts as a pile of raw materials. Factories use special plastic called Delrin, which is tough enough to handle heat and pressure. But this plastic isn't just any regular plastic. It's the same kind used in mechanical gears and even some high-performance engineering tools. That means it's designed to handle stress, impact, and extreme temperatures without breaking down. The process starts with raw pellets of Delrin being poured into massive industrial hoppers. These hoppers feed the plastic into heating chambers, where it gets melted down into a thick gooey liquid. Imagine a huge pot of melted cheese, except instead of making a delicious sandwich, this stuff is about to become the shell of a lighter. Once the plastic reaches the perfect consistency, it gets injected into a mold shaped exactly like a big lighter. The mold is tightly clamped shut, and the plastic is forced in under extreme pressure. This ensures that every tiny detail from the curves to the fuel chamber is formed perfectly. The mold is then cooled down rapidly, which hardens the plastic back into its solid form. Think of it like making a popsicle, but instead of freezing juice into shape, they're freezing plastic into a tiny fire-making machine. But it's not ready yet. Each lighter body is inspected for defects. If there's even the smallest crack or imperfection, it gets tossed out and recycled. The ones that pass are trimmed, smooth, and polished to make sure they look and feel just right. After all, nobody wants a rough or uneven lighter in their pocket. Before moving to the next step, the bodies go through a color coding process. Big lighters come in all kinds of bright colors and fun designs, but originally, they're just plain plastic shells. Factories use special paints that are heat-resistant and scratch-proof, ensuring your lighter doesn't fade or peel after a few uses. Once the paint dries, the bodies are stacked up, waiting for their next big step. I'll tell you about it next, but have you subscribed yet? It's just a click away. The secret ingredient, fuel. Now what's a lighter without fuel? Nothing more than just a useless piece of plastic. Now big lighters use a special liquid called butane, which turns into gas when released. Butane is what makes the magic happen. It's colorless, odorless, and highly flammable, which is exactly what you want in a lighter. But here's the thing, butane doesn't burn as a liquid. It only ignites when it turns into a gas, which happens the moment it escapes the lighter. That's why big lighters don't just pour in any random amount of fuel. They have to get it just right. Inside the factory, butane is stored in massive pressurized tanks. If you've ever seen a gas station tank, imagine that but 10 times bigger and filled with a liquid that could set the entire place on fire. Obviously, safety is a top priority, which is why workers wear protective gear and machines handle most of the process to avoid accidents. When it's time to fill the lighters, machines grab each plastic shell and line them up under special nozzles. These nozzles inject butane into the lighter's fuel chamber with precise measurements. Too much and the lighter could leak or explode. Too little and it won't work properly. Each lighter is weighed to make sure it's the exact amount of fuel needed. If it's even slightly off, it gets rejected. Once filled, the lighters go through a sealing process. A tiny valve at the top ensures that the butane stays locked inside until you press the button. This valve is a crucial part of the design. Without it, the fuel would just escape on its own, leaving you with a useless plastic shell. Now just because the butane is in there doesn't mean the lighter is ready to go. But before I tell you about the next important step, tell us in the comments what do you love most about your big lighter? The Magic Spark, Flint and Wheel Ever wondered how that tiny wheel makes fire? It's not just some random piece of metal rubbing against another. It's a carefully engineered system designed to create the perfect spark every time. The wheel itself is made of serrated metal, which means it has tiny sharp edges instead of being smooth. This rough texture is key because it helps grip the flint and create friction. Underneath that wheel sits a tiny but mighty rock called a flint. But it's not just any rock. 
This little guy is made from a special material called ferrocerium, which is famous for producing hot sparks when scraped. Now, how does it all work? When you spin the wheel with your thumb, those sharp edges grind against the flint, shaving off tiny hot particles. These particles ignite instantly, creating the sparks you see. Now, the sparks alone won't do much without something to burn. And that's where butane gas comes in. As soon as you press down on the lighter's button, the valve releases just the right amount of butane. The spark and gas meet, and just like that, you've got fire. It sounds simple, but factories have to get everything just right. If the wheel is too smooth, it won't grip the flint. If the flint's too hard, it won't produce enough sparks. If the gas valve isn't properly aligned, the fuel won't ignite. This is why Bic lighters go through insane levels of precision during manufacturing. Every part has to be perfectly positioned so that the lighter works on the first flick. And in case you've ever wondered why your flint eventually stops working, it's because each time you flick the wheel, you're slowly wearing it down. Once it's gone, no more sparks, no more fire. That's why eventually your trusty lighter runs out. Not just of gas, but also of flint. Now if you're hearing this for the first time, share this video so your friends can learn about it too. Safety first, child resistant features. Now big lighters aren't just about making fire. They're also designed to make sure fire doesn't happen when it shouldn't. That's why child resistant features are a big deal. You may have noticed the tiny metal shield sitting over the wheel. It's not just there for decoration or to make your life difficult when your hands are slippery. It's actually a safety mechanism meant to make the lighter harder for kids to use. The shield adds extra resistance, making it tricky for small fingers to spin the wheel and create sparks. Now let's talk about gas safety. A lighter is basically a tiny fuel tank, and if it's not built properly, it can leak. That's why big lighters go through rigorous pressure tests before they ever reach your pocket. Factories check to make sure there are no leaks, cracks, or weaknesses in the plastic body. If even a single unit fails, it's scrapped. They also test the gas release valve to ensure it only dispenses fuel when the button is pressed. If the valve is faulty, it could let gas escape on its own, which is a major fire hazard. Ever wonder why your lighter doesn't just keep burning when you let go of the button? That's another built-in safety feature. The valve is designed to close instantly when pressure is released, cutting off the fuel supply immediately. This prevents accidental fires and ensures you're in full control of when the flame appears and disappears. Even the size of the flame is carefully controlled. Factories calibrate each lighter to produce a flame that's strong enough for everyday use, but not so big that it becomes dangerous. If the flame is too high, it could cause burns or start fires unintentionally. If it's too low, it won't be reliable. That's why quality control is taken so seriously. Speaking of being serious, we're committed to teaching you how the world's biggest brands are made, so subscribe right away if you'd like to know exactly what goes on in the factory. The Toughness Test Big lighters aren't just everyday fire starters. They're tiny, unbreakable warriors. You might drop yours in concrete, toss it in a bag, or even leave it outside in the rain. And guess what? It still works. That's because every big lighter goes through some serious testing before it ever reaches your pocket. Inside the factory, machines drop lighters from different heights onto hard surfaces. This isn't just for fun, it's to make sure they don't crack or leak when they take a fall in real life. The plastic casing must be strong enough to handle impact without breaking apart. If a lighter doesn't pass this drop test, it's out. No second chances. Then comes the temperature challenge. These lighters face extreme heat and cold to see if they still function. Ever left a lighter in a hot car or pulled one from your jeans on a freezing day? Bic has already tested it for that. They expose lighters to both scorching and icy conditions to check for warping, gas leaks, or performance issues. If a lighter can't take the heat or the cold, it's rejected. And what about water? Bic lighters aren't waterproof, but they can handle splashes. Machines simulate wet conditions to make sure a little moisture won't stop them from lighting up. If any lighter misfires, leaks, or fails under pressure, it doesn't make it to store shelves. Only the strongest survive this brutal quality check, which is why Bic lighters are known for their reliability. Now that you know, drop a like for Bic lighters if you think their manufacturing process is awesome. The Final Touches 
After surviving the ultimate toughness test, a big lighter isn't quite ready for store shelves. First, it needs to look the part. Every lighter goes through a branding and design process that makes it recognizable worldwide. The famous BIC logo? That's carefully printed onto each lighter with high-quality ink. But BIC doesn't stop at just logos. Ever notice the cool graphics patterns or even your favorite TV character? That's because BIC uses advanced printing technology to create unique designs. Some lighters get classic colors, while others become tiny works of art featuring flames, skulls, animals, or pop culture icons. This extra touch makes each big lighter stand out, turning a simple tool into something personal. Once the branding is done, it's time to pack them up. Lighters are placed into plastic trays, keeping them organized and secure. These trays are then sealed and stacked inside cardboard boxes, ready for shipping. But before they leave the factory, one last inspection happens. Workers randomly check lighters for different batches to ensure every single one is flawless. If there's even the smallest issue, that batch doesn't go out. Finally, the lighters are shipped off to stores worldwide. Whether they end up in a gas station, supermarket, or convenience store, every big lighter has already been on a long journey. By the time you pick one up, it has been built, tested, branded, packaged, and inspected multiple times. So there you have it. A big lighter isn't just a cheap piece of plastic. It's a carefully engineered tool that can produce thousands of flames, withstand crazy conditions, and stay safe in your pocket. Next time you flick that wheel, remember the insane process that got it into your hands. Now head to the comments and tell us if you know any lighter brand that's better than Big. And when you're done, subscribe to our channel to keep learning about how your favorite brands are made from scratch.